Hi Founder fans, Jason here, and today's founder is Francis Mallory. Now we don't know a ton about Mallory's early life, but we do know is he's about, about 40 years old when he died. Now, Mallory joins the Virginia Militia when the American Revolution breaks out, and his services kind of run in the mill for the first few years until 1780 when he's actually captured by the British and held on a prison ship for some time. Now, he's eventually released on the condition that he will not serve with the Americans again. And as soon as he's released, well, Mallory's a patriot and he runs right back to the American side to fight with the patriots. He takes back over as colonel of the Elizabeth City County Militia in Virginia, and as such, he's supposed to de defend Elizabeth City County from the British at large. Now, this is the scenario when word arrives that the British are coming and they're going to cross Tompkins Bridge, which stands over Waters Creek. Mallory takes his men to go destroy the bridge so the British can't cross it, and then they were hoping to ambush them when they realized what was going on, or when they realized the bridge was no longer there. So Mallory actually sends two men ahead to scout, and he moves along the way with his 40 to 60 soldiers uh, to go destroy this bridge. Now, the first two scouts were sent ahead, but they were frightened away pretty quickly by the British when they realized that there was a much larger army, probably about 400 people, which I guess I shouldn't call an army, but a much larger contingent or outfit of British, and they get scared away. Now, they never return with some very important information. And that important information is the British are already crossing Tompkins Bridge. So Mallory shows up with his men, and the ambush they are planning is turned around on them. They are taken totally by surprise. Now, Mallory ends up sending his men in a retreat. It's a hasty, uh, unorganized retreat or disorganized retreat. Uh, and Mallory stands there to defend his men as they are retreating. And unfortunately for Mallory, he is pretty quickly recognized as that guy from the prison ship who said he wasn't going to fight again. And that irks the British uh, strongly. I will note that Mallory's men actually get uh, killed two British officers at this point, which further has irked the soldiers of the British. So they see Mallory there and they all turn their attention to him and they shoot at him and Mallory is shot. Now he goes down hard, but the British don't seem to want to take a chance with this guy. So they stomp on him with their horses and then they proceed to bayonet him. Now the the coat he was wearing actually becomes a fairly heirloom that's pa family heirloom that's passed down through the generations and that heirloom uh it has 11 stab wounds through it so that's how we know how many times he was stabbed i'm surprised the jacket survived the trampling but that is the very brief story of francis mallory a founder we don't know all that much about because he was kind of a lower level guy who worked his way up in one particular militia but he did something very heroic and valiant right at the end there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely hit like. And if you're new here, subscribe for more American Revolution seven days a week. And I'll be back with another founder for you tomorrow.